like a Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the destination for the magic. A six foot ten inch physical specimen with skills to match. Paolo Bancaro getting ready to rumble as they prepare to get busy in the Pfizer Forum. Magic Bucks coming right up. And welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Brand new season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. Hello everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Wednesday, they'll kick off a homestand, starting with the Houston Rockets. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. A look at Orlando's opening lineup. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Then it's Wendell Carter. Then there's Markel Fultz. And it's Black in a two guard. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. And it's Middleton in at the three. Well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. So the Bucks win the tip. Here's Holiday. To the paint. Here's Ana de Kumpo. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Now here's Wagner. Pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Ana de Kumpo. Ben Carroll, no good. Good shot, gone bad. Got to finish there. And a valuable piece in the rotation, Clark. Grayson Allen can really shoot it. Love his accuracy from behind the arc. Very efficient in his offensive game. And when he keeps himself under control emotionally, which he's done much better and much more of as a pro, he's a really good player. Now here's Fultz. About a minute into this first quarter. Here's an eight-footer. Rebounded by Lopez. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Allen on the wing. Back to Holiday. Allen inside. And it's Allen who slams it home. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And Wagner gets it to go. And after missing their first three shots, maybe this will get them going. Anadokounmpo outside. Pass to Holiday. Here's Allen. And the foul called on Markel Fultz. That's his first foul. First foul. Holiday against Fultz. The fadeaway. It's rebounded by Wagner. For Orlando, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Inside, Black. And it's flushed down! A nice jam. Wagner, he'll find the wide-open teammate more often than not. Heady player. 
The Bucs have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Well, Clark in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset, we all thought they were set to make a deep playoff run. The injuries, untimely as they were, and the heat had other plans. Outside Fultz. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. The Bucks have gone four to five so far. Looking sharp. Fultz against Hanna Kumpo. Pass to Allen from behind the arc. Good. And Hanna Kumpo gets the assist. Allen's got eight. <laughs> I just love the ball. The Magic have gone two of six to open up this game. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Black passes to Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. Just a real solid understanding of how to exploit the defense. Carter Jr. impressive at positioning himself in these situations. Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. Talent-wise, they've got the upper hand. I mean, they won every matchup between these teams last year. Guys, they deserve a lot of credit for not losing focus and letting one slip away. They came to play every time. I expect that'll be the case tonight. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Browder comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Bochamp, he's checked in for Allen. And Beasley has subbed in for Holiday. Orlando trailing here. And here's Anthony. One oh two left in the first quarter. And Carroll outside. Six to shoot. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. Junior with the nine foot standing reach. Carter has no trouble putting that away. Beasley against Anthony. Portis outside. Pass to Middleton. And the shot goes. Middleton so good under pressure. He's always composed and under control. And here's Anthony. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Seven-point differential. Carter, a screen on Crowder. The three from Ben Carroll. And Bochamp pulls it down. Milwaukee has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the box. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. 11 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Half to the outside. There's the triple. He drops it from range. You just know from a very young age, Cole Anthony's been perfecting that three-point shot. Maybe like his dad. His dad was kind of a pedestrian three-point shooter. And so it's Grayson Allen making it happen for the Milwaukee Bucks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? 
Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. On the court for Orlando, it's a Wagner family get-together with Franz at the three and Mo playing inside. In the backcourt, it's Anthony and Suggs, and it's Isaac in at the power forward position. You know, when it comes to Cole Anthony Grant, we knew he'd be a good NBA player. Let's face it, we've heard about it from his dad for years as he's joined us on the media side. <laughs> VA, that's the truth. Well, who knows, maybe one day he'll end up in our industry as well. Maybe he's got the bloodlines to be pretty good on the mic like his old man. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Brooke Lopez, over the course of his career, has become an elite rim protector and also stretched his scoring beyond the arc. His teammate, Giannis Antetokounmpo, said, quote, he competes hard for his team, and he's a big part of who we are. We need him offensively and defensively to be great. Brian? Hey, he's such a key player, Ali. No question. Thanks. Beasley finds Port and we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter you know he's not a knockdown shooter from there but when you're that uncovered you almost are forced to take it here's Wagner oh nice finish from the low block that one's good textbook play inside Wagner doing everything right in that case Milwaukee has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game Pass to Beasley. On to Kumpo, a screen on Anthony. Beasley into the lane. And Clark with Malik Beasley. He's someone who can really light it up offensively. Yeah, you know, he can shoot it off the movement, off the dribble pull up, or he can take it all the way to the rack. I think he's much more than just a spot up three point shoot. Well, Clark with teams playing at such a fast pace now. It's often a choice between transition defense and offensive rebounding. I think that's somewhat true. I think that was always a choice, but even more so today. I think you're right, Brian, because teams now are playing typically at a faster pace. I always value the ability to get second shots. I think you can balance the floor defensively, but I think rebounding on the offensive end still has to be part of how you attack, especially if you've got guys that are good offensive rebounders. And it's Wagner missing. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Portis with a screen on Fultz. Holiday with the ball. Now Carter defending. Holiday passes to Portis. Oh, stolen by Fultz. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. Here's Black. Off the mark there with a three. Milwaukee in the lead. Left side, Holiday. To the inside. It's hauled in by Isaac. The Magic have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Lopez on the double team. Outside, Fultz. Pass to Wagner. Portis against Fultz. Here's Black. Shoots over Beasley. Shots good by Black. Well, I like watching Fultz work the pick and roll, and when you give him space to pass, he makes you pay. And here's Anadokounmpo. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Two minutes remaining in the first. It's Beasley on the wing. There's the double team with Carter. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Anadokounmpo with the stuff. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. The end of the 2023 season was a rough stretch for a young Orlando Magic squad. Player. Always hard, B.A., to close out a season on a losing streak and in the bottom part of the conference. It's a tough learning opportunity, even for veteran guys. Holiday passes to Portis. Down low. Kumpo for three. Yes, sir! Giannis showing the range. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Orlando calls timeout. In terms of players who've kept evolving, Clark, let me come on. How about Brook Lopez? Well, Grant, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. And some changes. 
changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Portis. Middleton comes in for Anadokounmpo. And it's Allen in for Beasley. Vancaro's checked in for Orlando. 11 left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Fultz. Back to Ben Carroll. Five to shoot. Ben Carroll uses his size down there. Boy, moving the ball with purpose there. Fultz has tremendous offensive potential, and we're seeing him put it all together now. Middleton against Wagner. Pass to Allen. To the middle. And Franz Wagner picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Now Allen. Lopez, the screen. Second chance effort. It's rebounded by Bancaro. For Orlando, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Fultz against Holiday. 14 feet away. Holiday grabs the miss. Crowder outside. Goes up. Unable to get that one. First half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Bucks ahead, leading by five. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Hey everybody, halftime is upon us, and the scoreboard showing a deficit for the Orlando Magic. Their defense is about as soft as hush puppies, giving the offense buffet, all they can eat. Speaking of hush puppies, I like your footwear today. And you're getting me hungry. Put some okra in that fryer. Oh, okra. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead at the upcoming schedule. Taking a look here now at the Magic. Next game is their first chance to get a roll win in the new freshy fresh season. I'm exp And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. couple of quarters this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge it's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo you just love his patience offensively in the first half waited until he got the looks he wanted well you know what guys it was all about efficient offense not rushing things taking your time finding the best shot on every possession at small and power forward it'll be Middleton and Giannis Holiday and Allen in the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group from Milwaukee right now. Pass to Allen. Middleton outside. Driving inside. And it's Orlando with a the rebound. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Back to Fultz. And Carroll with it. Now here's Wagner. Shot clock at five. 
And Carroll with it for the lead. Holiday grabs the miss. And over the years, one thing we've seen from Drew Holiday, he is clutch. He sure is, B.A., and not just at the end of the game. I mean, he typically does whatever his team needs him to do to get a win. He can dominate from tip to the end of the game, or he can simply beat you with his competitive spirit. Middleton against Wagner. Rebound by Middleton. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Brian Magic coach Jamal Mosley talked about the leadership of this team. He said, we're going to do it by committee. Each guy's going to have a voice on a different night. We want to build them up where there's a chemistry, and as guys rise and get their voice, they get that feeling of leadership. Brian? Yeah, that's an interesting point. All right, Allie, thank you. Here's Fultz. Salvatore grabs the board. Salvatore Kumpo has got four rebounds in the game. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Second personal First team foul. Magic on D. They trail by six. Out of Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Up and over Carter. You see defensively, Carter with really good instincts. I mean, he moves his feet well, and of course, he gives you plenty of size at that position. Here's Ben Carroll. Plenty of space. The rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got four rebounds in the game. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounds, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. For Orlando, they've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Black passes to Fultz. And here's Wagner. Jacks up a three. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got five rebounds tonight. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Carter, a screen on Anadokounmpo. It's a mark. Floater is good from Ben Carroll. Agile little shot that time by Ben Carroll. Arcing it up and in. Beautifully done. Holiday against Fultz. Holiday passes to Middleton. A minute and a half left to play in the third. And Franz Wagner picks up the foul. That's his third foul so far. The Bucks making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. And the Magic making a change here as well. Ingles, he's checked in for Wagner. Magic on D. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, Giannis working inside. Giannis always trying to impact the game at both ends, but really has become a workhorse on the offensive end. Ingles passes to Ben Carroll. Three-pointer, no good. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Holiday. Over Fultz. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Lopez. Lopez has got five assists in the game. Orlando has gone one of four here in the third from range. Up top, Ben Carroll. Back to Fultz. Good on the shot. Look at Van Carroll finding his teammate out there, getting the ball into the hands of the open man. Man, that's impressive. Fultz against Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Here's Beasley. Shoots. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Too much Giannis. And really a reflection of their superior levels in this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And Carroll passes to Ingles. 
Chad Carroll gets out of the Kumpo. And Carroll left side. Cam hit it from 12 feet. And so it's Milwaukee ending the quarter up 10. Defense is setting the tone. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Fourth quarter, on the court for the Magic. At the two and the three, it's Suggs and Wagner. Mo Wagner is out there with Jonathan Isaac. And it's Anthony in at the one. Here's Portis. It's hauled in by the Magic. Now Isaac. Pass to Anthony. Inside. There's a killer two-hand slam. More than capable of running point. Anthony, a gifted passer, really has good vision. Here's Bochan. Beasley outside. Here's Crowder. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Orlando trailing here. Anthony up top, covered by Crowder. Pass to Wagner. And the layup is good off the glass. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Wagner's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Here's Beasley. Out of the Kumpo, a screen on Anthony. Here's Bochamp. Out of the Kumpo, outside. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. No, misses that one. Eight for 11 now. Anthony, outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Parker in the high post. It's hauled in by Portis. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. Smart pass by Portis, showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. And the Magic call time here. He's checked in for Portis. Middleton comes in for Crowder. Allen, he's checked in for Bochamp. And Holiday subbed in for Beasley. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. First and foremost, he wants to see more points in the break. He asked his team, where's the urgency? We know what we can do in transition. Now let's go out and do it. We'll see if they can pick up the tempo, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Middleton outside. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Down low. And it's Lopez with the jam. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Out of the Kumpo against Van Carroll.
to the inside. Carter, and it's slammed in by Carter. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. Anadokounmpo against Ben Carroll. Anadokounmpo pass to Holiday. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Holtz against Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Anadokounmpo. On the wing, Holiday from downtown. Orlando grabs the miss. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And Carroll no good. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Bucks. They've led by as much as ten. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good and he'll go to the line. Well, there is an understated quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's strong and tough and persistent. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. You know, they've been knocking down triples, too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. Not a lot of time left for the Magic in this one. Black passes to Carter. Now Ben Caro on an Akumpo covering. Carroll gets out of the Kumpo. And Carroll down the lane. They get it back. Here's Wagner. Nice shot from the wing. Attacking right away. Once Wagner has the ball, he doesn't even think about it. Take it and go. Out of the Kumpo. Outside. There's 42 seconds left in the final quarter. Allen can't get it to go. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. And then Carroll gets it to go. No shame or fear in this young fella. And Carroll will take on any big shot. Love seeing that. And so they foul intentionally. Second team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. The evolution of Giannis has been remarkable to watch, including him wanting to take over in the important spots in games. And he does get the second one. And that puts him up five. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with an attitude of joy and unselfishness, a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him. He's one of the most popular players in the world. Nine seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for the Hawks. Giannis. He drops the first one. And that increases the lead to six. He's off on the free throw. Unable to get the second one to drop. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Carroll gets on to Kumpo. And Carroll passes to Wagner. And another miss by Orlando. And now we've got an intentional foul. Second personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And 
And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Ben Caro outside. Here's the three. They get the rebound. Great positioning on the putback. That is the guy to go to. I mean, when everything's frenetic, Carter has that steady, even kill coach. And so it's Milwaukee with the W. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. We'll give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Giannis, that was a lockdown defensive effort. What sets you guys apart in that regard? We just uh, have that individual pride. Like, we don't want our guy to score on us. And at the end of the day, we know that somebody else is going to have our back. So, we just got to go out there.